So I don't, I don't want to really start this. So I guess people wanted to see how I did line art. So I already have this open, so I'll just do it here. Now the program I use is GIMP 2.6, and I use the ink pen at size four. Mostly, well, uh, I most I draw it with with a UG tablet. I'm sorry, because I if I just pause because. I have no idea. I have no script, so I'm just winning this. But basically, since I use a tablet, I more of rely on the pressure of it in areas like such. Like, like if I do something like this, I try to make these parts more pressured. But the ends, see, that kind of I don't know. I don't know what it's for. The thing you don't want to do is have it all the same. So giving him, giving it different pressure, all that can actually make a difference. Like it'll look, it looks really weird if you have it all the same size. Well, Sorry if I go silent because I don't know what to say besides that. As you can see, I, I mess up a lot. And most of my drawing is just me undoing things 50,000 times in a row. Yeah, as far as the eyes go, like, I try to make this part. Of it, the if they're um, like when they're little hearts like like that, like close it, because for some reason it looks it looks neat to me. Uh, I don't know why. Yeah, it more depends on what, what part you're doing. Like, like for, usually I do the outer edges a bit thicker than the inner. Mainly because the way I, I do the outlining is really weird. And even if there is the slightest thin spot, GIMP won't select it. And it makes it very difficult and a pain because I'm trying to find the part that's really thin. It's, it considers thin. And just for line art in general, just no, the best thing I can say is just practice with different styles, like find what you like. like in general, I'm really I like fluffiness. I like doing fluffy. I make, I make everything fluffy. Cause, you know, it's fun that way. Like, right here. Just add a bit more. And this, this will just hit me. Just adding different levels of pressure throughout it. I don't know if I picked that up. If it did, that's my chair being all squeaky. If it didn't, this is going to be really weird. Yeah, see like how in the mouth I have it really thin. Like it'd be really bad if it was thick like that. It basically makes the mouth black. You don't want a black mouth. Unless that's how it is for your character and go for it. Uh, 
Uh, probably going to cut some of this out and actually go into editing because I don't think you want to see me <laughs> the long process that is line art. Unless, like, you won't see that. And it's just trying to come to whenever I have live streams because then you can see it in, in, in real life. You can see my struggles. I have no music playing right now. I'm not sure if I'm going to cut anything out. I probably am. Cool. Okay. Yeah, just... Like, as far as... Yeah, like I already said, just play around with what you like for the line art. How you like it, like if you like it really thin, if you like it thin, like it really thick, or like kind of in between, pixely. It's just, you know, you don't, this, to do this, it's not required to see a tablet. But much easier. Like, for a majority for a while, up until I think December of last year, the year before, something, until sometime last year, from mid last year, I drew with the touchpad on my my computer. You think? Yeah, yeah. But, and of course, that was probably what caused my tendonitis, but I was still able to draw with that. And, I mean, I used, I used pencil for a lot of that. I don't even know if I, I think I did use ink. No, for my tablet before this one, I didn't have any pen pressure set. But the ink but the ink pen in general has pressure set, I think. But like nothing else. Okay. This is why, like, I wouldn't say line art is my least favorite. Like, I think, I think shading at times is my least favorite step. Of course, line art when there's multiple characters and you need to use it more, it's more of a pain. And what I'm doing right here, I'm just, I mean, I'm just flicking my wrist. But you can't really do that unless you have a tablet. Since I think it'll be kind of, I don't know if you can do that with a mouse or a touchpad, whatever you use to draw. And also, like, don't. I don't just get a tablet just to think, oh, I can, I can draw that. Like, that's the only way I can draw. Like, yes, it makes things easier, and if you're planning on going on into a professional career for this, and yeah, you should. Ugh. But if you're really not, well, it's, unless you just like, hey, I want to get a tablet, go ahead. But. Just as a heads up, they are they can be really expensive depending 
on what kind you get. You know, yeah, I, I have, I use a UGE tablet. Actually, I think, I can't say exact numbers, but I think it was less expensive than my bamboo tablet, which is what I had before this. It worked fine, I just, I just didn't know it which I broke actually last year. It's kind of surprising that this is cheaper since it's like two times the size of the UG tablet and comes with more functions to it that I don't even use. Don't tell anyone that. Uh, yeah, that's, that's line art. It's really pink. Like, yeah, I feel like right there, right? Yeah, like, you just, just... Whatever you think looks good. Like, this... I mean, this is my general style for it. Uh, yeah, that's... That's why how I do a line right. Pain, yet uh, hear you cry, and uh, yet I'm sorry if I'm like just kind of just I sound if I sound like I don't want to do this. As you can see from the time, well, you can't see since it's not on the screen. It's like almost 2 a.m. right now, and I well, I had school today, and I worked for like five hours. Nice, but also really tiring. So yeah, and my throat's getting sore now. So yeah, that's how I do line art. Like, yeah, line art. Probably misspelled it. It looks misspelled. Line art. <laughs> 